While Daddy Pig is at work, we can get all his birthday surprises ready. <laughs> First, we'll make Daddy's birthday cake. We start with butter and sugar and flour. Then we add an egg. And most important of all, the chocolate bits. Ooh. Mummy Pig is making a chocolate cake. Daddy Pig loves chocolate cake. I give it a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants a go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, George, that's enough stirring. There, Daddy Pig's chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> now, we just have to bake it in the oven. Mummy, can I lick the spoon? Yes, you can lick the spoon and George can lick the bowl. Yippee! Pepper and George love chocolate cake mixture. <laughs> Poor Daddy Pig. He's missing all the fun. Mummy, can I ring Daddy at work and say happy birthday? That's a nice idea. This is the office where Daddy Pig works. Hello, Mr Rabbit speaking. May I speak to Daddy Pig, please? Someone for you, Daddy Pig. It sounds important. Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Happy birthday, Daddy! <coughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. Don't be late home, Daddy. Bye-bye. <coughs> Bye-bye. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Daddy, Daddy Pig! Pig. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> There's just one more thing to do before Daddy gets home. Yes, Daddy's birthday surprise. <laughs> Shh, George, remember, it's a secret. Shh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, this study is a complete mess. It's not that bad. There are lots of cobwebs. I love cobwebs. They give the room character. Cobwebs mean spiders, and I don't like spiders. I do. Spiders catch flies, and flies are horrid. Well, as long as I don't have to see a spider. <coughs> ah! A spider! Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. <laughs> oh, where have you gone? Find it. I don't want it in the house. Everyone is looking for Mr Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is not in the filing cabinet. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not under the chair. Oh. Mr. Skinny Legs is not on the table. Oh. I wonder where Mr. Skinny Legs is. Ah! Oh, ho! Oh. It sounds like Mummy has found him. Don't be scared, Mummy. Get rid of it. OK. We'll take Mr. Skinny Legs into the garden. <laughs> now Mr Skinny Legs has got the whole garden to play in. Bye-bye, Mr Skinny Legs. It is starting to rain. <laughs> Mr Skinny Legs is running back to the house. Maybe he doesn't like the rain. He's climbing up the water spout. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and was poor Incy out. Out came the sun. Sign and try to pull the rain. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want Mr. Skinny Legs in the house, Daddy Pig. Let's take Mr. Skinny Legs a bit further into the garden. There we are. A nice tree for you to live in. <laughs> what is he doing? He's making a web, Pepper. Spiders live in webs and use them to catch flies. Oh! He's very busy. Yes. It's hard work building a web. That's why you must never, ever break one. If you do, the spider has to do all the work again. Yes, Daddy. Bye-bye, <coughs> Mr Skinny Legs. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Dad 
Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> <laughs> my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four seven six eight five nine three zero. Oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found a magic bean. Oh, yes. Now. Pedro planted that bean and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. But I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Pepper. <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. And a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig. You woke the little ones. We promised to sleep when the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary dragon! <laughs> Emma, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> Uh, he keeps turning his head. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> That was an aeroplane. 
Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. <laughs> George's first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> in the olden days, did Susie and me jump up and down in muddy puddles? No, Pepper. You were babies. You couldn't even walk. Oh, what did we do? <laughs> you cried. <laughs> you burped. <laughs> and you laughed. <laughs> we were babies. Baby Susie. Baby Papa. <laughs> <laughs> goo goo gaga, goo goo gaga. <laughs> Soon after that, you were toddlers. <laughs> George? He was a baby in my tummy. <coughs> yes, you were in my tummy, George. You've got a big tummy, Daddy. Is there a baby in there? Oh, oh no, Pepper. This tummy is pure muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and so George was born. <coughs> And Granny and Grandpa gave George a very special present. Can you guess what it was? Mr Dinosaur! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you and Susie were running and jumping around. <laughs> <laughs> then one day you saw something amazing. Monkey Puggle! <laughs> Pepper. If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> you loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I still do! <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a photo now. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa has always loved jumping up... to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Pepper and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> Daddy George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George and Mummy will find it very hard. First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words, but really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy! You know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. Hoopla! Ah! 
That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should leave the ballet to Pepper. Yes. I am the best at it. I am a beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> 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 the best thing it does is Happy Mrs. Chicken. <laughs> when you press this button, she lays an egg. <laughs> I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun! Uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye! Bye-bye! Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes! Let's do some numbers and letters. Pepper and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs. Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. Hooray! My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? No, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! So, I've got some work to do, catching up. to be in my perfume. I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <gasps> Lovely! Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <laughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. 
this is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Oh, that smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Baby Alexander is awake. Pepper and George are awake. What's that noise? It's the vacuum cleaner. Um, why are you vacuuming at night? What? Oh, no! We found noise is the best way to get baby Alexander back to sleep. He likes noise. We're a noisy family! Everyone is back in their beds. Asleep. <coughs> baby Alexander is awake. To get Alexander to sleep. The more noise, the better. Is there another way that doesn't use noise? We do find noise is the best way. When George was a baby, we used to put him in his pram and wheel him around the house. And that always sent him to sleep. How strange. No loud noises. That's right. How many times round the house was it, Mummy Pig? Three times? Fifty times. Daddy Pig is pushing baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Pepper. What are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Lucy Sheep is using feathers. I'm making a magic owl mask. Twit twoo! I've made a superhero mask. Nay. I've made a carrot mask. <laughs> And my little brother Richard is a baby carrot. We like carrots. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur mask. Brrr. Dinosaur. <laughs> and what mask is yours, Edmund? It is the solar system with all the planets. I see. I've included Pluto, even though it's only classed as a planetoid. Very good. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. So, are we all finished? Mine would look better with some glitter on it. Please, can we have some glitter, Madam Gazelle? Glitter, 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 glitter. There are lots glitter, of other shiny glitter, things you can glitter. use. Not as good as glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. It is a menace. But it's so special and magic. Please, can we have some glitter? Please? Oh, all right. But only if you all promise to be very, very careful with it. We promise. OK. I will unlock the glitter cabinet. Madame Gazelle keeps the glitter safely locked away. Now, children, you did promise to use this glitter very carefully. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Ah! Glitter! Don't panic. Please remain calm. There was a glitter leak, but we have it under control now. <laughs> Today, the children have been making masks. Ooh. 
It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! Gently does it. Uh, yes. Like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please! <coughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Papa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. Wow. Next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. <laughs> This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Oh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. Tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I like the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way! <laughs> Follow me, everyone! <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Swish, splash, splash, swish, splash. With a big splash here and a big splash there. Here a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Swish, splash, splash, splish, splash. George is not sleepy. George! Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Shh! <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. 
Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, yes. Baby Bear said, that was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. Dinosaur! Grrr. George, you must stay on your side of the bedroom. That's your side. And this is my side. Do not cross the invisible line. Post! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr Zebra. Hello, Daddy Pig. I've got some letters for you. Is there anything for me and George? <laughs> hmm, I'm afraid not. They're all for Mummy and me. Oh. There's a parcel as well. Probably that box of reinforced concrete I ordered. Look at all the stamps on it. That's because it's from a long way away. Bye now. Bye-bye. Oh, the label says it is for Pepper and George. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mummy, a parcel for George and me. Ooh. There's a letter too. Dear Pepper and George, here is a present for you to share. Love from your Auntie Dotty. Auntie Dotty lives far away in another country. Ooh, what is the present? It's got wheels. Car! <laughs> it's not a car, George. It's got legs. It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a tail. Oh, tables don't have tails. There's a handle as well. What can it be? There's something else in the box. It's a toy horse. I shall call it Twinkle Toes. Horsey! Twinkle Toes. Horsey! Twinkle Toes! Horsey! Remember, children, Aunt Dotty sent the present for both of you. You'll have to share. Sharing can be fun. Can I play with Twinkle Toes first? 
right. Let George have the first turn. He's the youngest. <laughs> horsey! Horsey! <laughs> George likes playing with horsey. George, it is called Twinkle Toes, not horsey. <laughs> this is what you do. Dance when the music is playing. And when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Head, shoulders, knees and toes Just knees and dance toes. already! Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees and toes, <laughs> knees and toes <laughs> This one is still blinking! You're out! Eyes and ears and mouth You're moving, George! You're out! <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out! <laughs> so Zaza is the winner! You've got a medal. It's made of real plastic gold. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, musical statues is over. Lovely. <laughs> now it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> <laughs> no, George, that is Zaza's medal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has won. Almost finished. Switch it back on. Wow, that was an exciting end to a race. I'm so glad I didn't miss the finish. See, it's finished. It's such a lovely day. You should all go outside and play. Yes, Granny Pig. <laughs> so, what are we going to play? George wants to play racing cars. I know. Let's build George a racing car. <laughs> Can you really make a racing car, Daddy? No, but Grandpa Pig can. What? Uh, OK, I'll make a racing car for George. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's shed, where he makes things. What have we got here? Ah, an old pram. No, George isn't a baby, Grandpa. We only need the pram's wheels, Peppa. This bit can be the bonnet. And this can be the seat. What's your favourite number, George? <laughs> George's favourite number is two. Oh, this racing car will be super fast. Hooray! Don't make it go too fast, Grandpa. <laughs> George is only little. Don't worry, Peppa. This will be a pedal car, not a motor car. Next, we need a steering wheel. Last of all, you need racing goggles and a hat. <laughs> it's George's racing car! <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Look at George's racing car. Wow! George has found a ball. 
<laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. Grandpa is showing Pepper and George his stamp collection. Ooh. I've collected hundreds of stamps from all over the world. Grandpa, I think you must have every stamp ever. Oh, I suppose I do have quite a few. So there's no need for you to buy any more stamps, is there, Grandpa? Hmm. Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. <laughs> it's the post! Ah, it's a postcard from my friend. What does it say? It says, wish you were here. I've never had a postcard. That's easy to fix. Let's write one to you and George now. Then we can post it to you. Oh, goody. <laughs> what shall we write on it? Uh, dear Pepper and George, wish you were here. Lots of love. Pepper and George. Very good. Let's post it. Not yet, Pepper. We need to write where you live. Do you know your address, Pepper? Uh, the little house on the hill. Very good. Now can we post it? There's still something missing. Do you know what it is? It needs a kiss. <laughs> That's lovely. And we need a stamp, too. Grandpa has stamps. Uh, my stamps are not for licking and sticking on postcards, Pepper. They are for collecting and looking at. Come on, Pepper and George. I think we'll find some normal stamps upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Who can that be? Special delivery. Ah, this could be... Yes, it's the rare stamp I sent off for. It's a big box for just a step. Did it cost a lot of money? Shh, Granny Pig doesn't need to know. Right you are. There should be a stamp in this drawer. No stamps, Granny. We'll just have to carry on looking downstairs. What a beautiful stamp. And in perfect condition. Never been used. What's going on here? Oh, um, uh... What's all this mess? Oh, now I'll take it to the recycling. Look, Granny, a stamp for our postcard. Ah, good. I knew we'd find a stamp somewhere. George, would you like to lick it? <laughs> Stick it on the postcard. <laughs> Daddy, what are you doing? I'm reading the newspaper. You're making a funny sound. I'm whistling. Oh. 
Whistling is fun. You should try it. I don't know how to. It's easy. Just put your lips together and blow. <whistles> try making a smaller O shape. <whistles> oh, oh, like this. <whistles> and then you can whistle a tune. I've got the wrong kind of mouth. Your mouth is fine. You just need to practice. It's impossible. It takes time to learn how to do important things, like riding a bicycle or playing the piano. It took me years to learn how to wiggle my ears. Wow! <laughs> Mummy Pig is in the kitchen making cookies. What are you doing, Peppa? I'm learning to whistle. Oh, I see. <sighs> Mummy, can you whistle? I don't know. I've never tried. It takes a lot of practice. <gasps> oh, yes. Mummy Pig can whistle. You can whistle because you are old, Mummy. Thank you, Peppa. <sighs> George is in the bedroom, playing with his toy rocket. George, I'm learning to whistle. You make an O shape with your mouth and blow. Don't worry, George. It's almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Mummy, we splashed Daddy's football shirt with mud. Oh. Don't worry. We'll just wash it. <laughs> It'll be washed in no time and Daddy won't know it was ever muddy. <laughs> Let's find some more things to put in the machine. <coughs> oh, my dress is a bit muddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig and George have found more things to wash. Very good, George. <laughs> we put the clothes in here and then we switch it on. The washing machine is filling up with hot, soapy water. <laughs> splash! Splash! <laughs> the washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Pepper, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Pepper, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Pepper's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh! Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Peppa. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> Special delivery for Miss Peppa Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you'll build it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Peppa. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes. <laughs> That's strange. 
There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. Oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> The instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh. Thank you, Mr Zebra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. OK, George, open your eyes. George has to find where Pepper is hiding. Oh. Pepper isn't hiding under the table. George, have you thought of looking upstairs? <laughs> Pepper isn't under the bed. What was that strange noise? Pepper isn't behind the curtain. There is that strange noise again. What can it be? George has found where Pepper was hiding. George found me. Now it's Daddy's turn to hide. Oh, I think George should have another turn. But George isn't very good at hiding. I'm sure he'll be better this time. Close your eyes and start counting. One. Two. Oh, three. dear. Pepper will easily Four, find George. Five. George. Six, come over here. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ready or not, here I come. Oh. George isn't hiding under the table. But George always hides under the table. Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I need some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Pepper has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> For some powder. <laughs> Love.
lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty mummy pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Peppa, I was just saying hello. I'm not Peppa Pig. I'm Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <coughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <coughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello. Yes. Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There. All done. Come on, Daddy Pig. It's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I'm not Peppa. I'm Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> now be careful. It's a very deep hole. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Peppa! George! What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's all this noise? Whoa! Help! Oh! Oh! What on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh, dear. Poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children. Let's do a bit of tidying up. But, Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> Maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy, and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Peppa, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> what do we have here? Dinosaur. That's right. It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. <laughs> Bye, Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! Pick you up later! <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, doctor. 
He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet! In the hospital! Choo-choo! The bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no! There aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh, now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Hmm. I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. Can we find a little place for this? Uh. No. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Pepper, and he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! There's this as well! Cheerio! Thank you, Mr. Ball. Goodbye! Bye bye! What's this? A giant gnome? No, Grandpa. It's a well. What is a well? A well, Pepper, is a very deep hole with water in it. Ooh. And as it happens, I do need water for my garden, so a well will be useful. But that is not a well. It's made of plastic and there's no hole. It's beautiful. What's the point of a well without water? It's a wishing well. You throw a coin into it and make a wish. Can I make a wish, Granny? Of course, Peppa. Here's a little coin. I wish, I wish, I wish. Oh, don't tell us what you're wishing for. Okay. <laughs> 